guys, it's Jason with IMG Filmworks. Today, um, we are going to be working on my new toy, the Porsche Cayenne, and uh, we're going to be doing an old change. There's uh, not much out there on these V6s, and what I've seen uh, really kind of lacks, um, uh, you know, the different steps. Uh, they neglect the oil filter and different things like that. So we're going to go under the, uh, the lift here, and I'm going to show you how we're going to change the oil in a first-generation uh, Porsche Cayenne. So let's get to it. Uh, one thing I want to say before you get under the lift, make sure you have like a bump cap on or something like that. You raise up and hit your head. I've done it a number of times, so uh, be careful when you're under a lift if you have one. Um, and so you're going to see uh, that I'm actually wearing one because I got tired of hitting my head and almost knocking myself out. So anyway, here we go and uh, we'll get under there. Take a look at it. Okay, so here we are under the lift. You're going to have to excuse me. It's like 100 degrees out here in the garage, so I'm probably sweating. Um, but we're going to take off these plastic body panels here right up front under that uh, covers the engine. And uh, there's just these 10 millimeter uh, bolts here. So we just uh, are going to take those off first and we'll just keep working our way around until we get the body panel off. All right, now that we've removed those in the front, it looks like we've got just a couple of regular uh, Phillips screws right here to release this side. So let's get on that. All right guys, so now here we are under the lift. I've got my bump cap on. Make sure you put it on if you're under a car so you don't hit your head. And uh, on the back side, we've got uh, a couple more bolts right here in the back. So let's, uh, let's take those off. All right guys, so uh, I've almost got this thing off and right up here, there's the front of the vehicle. Right up here, you can see that bolt right up there. There's one more 10 millimeter bolt on both sides that you gotta get. So let's pull those off and the whole thing should pull down. All right, so we got them both loose upside and it's just it's dropping down. And you gotta work with it a little bit because this gets caught up in there. Okay, here's a really good tip. Some of the bolts aren't the same size. So what you do is when you get your cover, go ahead and lay it down in a safe place and then go ahead and reinstall the bolts in this, so it kind of keeps them together, and I've got them all organized and in the correct location, so it makes it easy to know what goes back. All right, so we got a couple of 10 more millimeter bolts here and here, and uh, looks like this uh, back one should come down then. So let's go ahead and get those off. So now that the covers are out of the way, we're staring at the, uh, the uh, crankcase and there's our uh, oil drain. So uh, we're going to just go ahead and remove that and start draining the oil. And if you want to see where the filter is and why it's such a nasty job, come on in for a look. Right there is the uh, oil drain. So that's going to get messy. Here's the uh, drain plug that you were looking at in the last shot. There is the... Uh, where the oil filter cartridge is. So uh, make sure you have a lot of towels handy. But anyway, let's go ahead and start draining the oil. It's your 19 millimeter socket with an extension and uh, go ahead and crack that open and then we'll swing our uh, oil catch can over and start draining your oil. Anyway, I'm going to bring you in, show you up there. It's a 36 millimeter socket. You get it up there with a long uh, extension bar, break it loose, and then we're just going to, you know, move this into position over it. I'll temporarily install the drain plug and start letting it run down. So uh, let's go ahead and get up there and you can take a look at where it is. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, and just start breaking it loose until it starts to drain. Here it comes. All right, so we're just gonna loosen that up a bit and just keep letting it drain. 
Okay, then we just remove the whole thing. Pulled it off to remove it. There's the old filter right there. Just gonna let uh, turn this upside down, let it drain the most we can, clean that all up, and we'll grab our new filter and start putting it back together. You can see we have this out. We got it cleaned up, and uh, we're ready for uh, the new filter. I use uh, the Man filters. Um, they're OEM on BMW. I think they're great filters. So that is what I am using. And the filter for the Cayenne V6 is HU932 slash 6N. And so here is the brand new filter made in Germany. Nice. So it's going on a German car. So we're good to go. So before we do that though, we need to install a new O-ring on the uh, canister uh, cover. So let's go ahead and do that. This way to do this, just to grab a flat bladed screwdriver, just be careful. And you're just going to peel it out. Just like that. There's the old one. We're going to discard that right there. Take your time with it. Everything's slick and kind of a pain in the ass. All right, it'll kind of just roll down and pop right into place. And it's got a nice little light oil lube on it just from working on it. So we got that good. And so that is all we do. There you go, make sure it seats like that. So it's in there nice and good. All right, so we'll go back under, reinstall this in, uh, in the location. All right, so before we put that filter back on, let's go ahead and reinstall the 19 millimeter drain bolt and washer. Okay, go ahead and torque it to 22, 22 foot pounds. Then we go ahead and install the new filter and then you torque the filter housing to 19 foot-pounds. Okay, so we've done all the cleanup underneath, got it everything ready to go, so we're going to go up top. We're going to be filling it today with... Uh, Shell Rotella T6, the turbo synthetic diesel oil. It's a wonderful all round oil that gives great wear protection and uh, it's just really, really good stuff. I run it in all my cars and my race bike. So make sure to check your owner's manual for your specific model. But on the 3.2 liter V6 that I've got, it's 6.3 liters. So two of these will be perfect for that. So uh, let's go ahead and get it up there and get started filling. All right guys, so that's just about it. We filled it up, it's to the full line, and we're gonna go ahead and start it and run it for a minute, and then we're gonna get under it and check for leaks. And at that time, the filter uh, housing will fill up and we'll need to top it off a little bit. But we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a start 
and get underneath it and check to make sure that everything's tightened up and nothing's leaking. Alright guys, so here we are inside the car and uh, let's go ahead and put the key in. Go ahead and get it ready to go. All right, we've got no warnings, so we're looking good. Let's go under and check for leaks. All right, guys, so we're back under the car and we're looking for any kind of leaks. We went ahead and started it and ran it for a few minutes. And uh, you just come under here, make sure nothing's leaking. And all that residual oil right there was just from the drain. So I need to clean that up a little better, but that's not leaking, nothing's leaking. So it looks like we are good to go. Here's a good tip. When installing this front piece, install all the bolts loosely so you can move it around. If you install anything and tighten it up, it's going to make it harder to bend it up into shape. There you go. Hope you guys saw that. That's why you wear a bump cap. All right guys, so that's it. That's how you change the oil in the Cayenne 3.2 liter V6. Uh, just make sure that you check your oil again after starting it and checking for leaks because you might have to top it off to replace what was uh, filled up in the uh, oil cartridge. So just uh, until next time, I hope this video helped you out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't checked out the Turbo Accord build series, please check that out on my channel. And until next time, I'll see you right back here inside my garage. Oil catch container ready. And go ahead and just crack it open and start draining the oil. So tip, just put yourself a long extension line and that way you get it out like this. Awesome!